Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Welcome aboard, Agent. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but UNACO better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you... The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. I'll see how it looks on. Your primary objective is the makeshift... What am I or... Interrogate the leader. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? They cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced his whole body if it would have improved performance. That's how you judge a man? By performance? Then eventually it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, functionality. All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. As soon as we buy into the cult of the machine, we're just like them. Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. They found us. Take him out.
The power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Password's enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks.
You with Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a buck. I'll give you 50 for the darts. The commander's the whole reason my neighborhood turned into a war. Thank you. 